All right, guys, so I'm about to start the 6 8 drop on Big Blue. This is currently how it sits. That stock kite right there with 22 inch. I was about to order a 6 8 drop on, on Switch, but I got lucky enough somebody on Marketplace bought one bought a kid and didn't end up using it but luckily he bought the new control arms and the kit doesn't come with that and I paid pretty much for the kit and got free control arms we'll see how how much lower it'll go Alright guys, so this is all that I'm going to replace. The control arms are going to be original control arms. Then drop spindles, shocks, and drop springs. Got some of these new, but I'll probably do it next time. Then I'll be buying new brakes. Keep these locked up so they're no good anymore. guys so this is how it looks with the front already dropped on the ground next up is the back see how much it drops all right guys so I already installed my flip kit so the axle's on top of the leaf springs now. I'm doing the C-notch. Pretty what I did. They said that oval's supposed to line up with this one. So I just put it up against it. Traced it. And then if I needed to cut more, I'll just be cutting as I go. Then you put it in. And bolt it on, but I'm going to weld it. Alright guys, so this is how it sits with the 6.8. It's already got the C-notch in and the flip kit. I have to buy new fenders because these were already toes from to begin with. I don't know if I'm, in the future I'm going to look for the rear end that's more narrow or just get wider fenders. And then eventually I'm going to buy a, a new floor because this one's all rotted. And they just put a piece of plywood to cover up the rest holes. Right now. We'll see what happens next to Big Blue.